Do you want your ad to appear inside the YouTube search results? Well, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach, and today I'm gonna show you how to do just that. I'm gonna show you how you can get your advertisements to appear in the search results on YouTube. But before we do that, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Hey friends, so today I want to share with you how you can get your YouTube videos to appear inside these search results in YouTube as a sponsored ad. So I'm going to walk you through the steps here to set up the campaign um, so that you can make that happen for the video of your choice. Okay, so right now I'm in the interface of Google Ads and I'm going to create a brand new campaign. And usually what I like to do is select this option here, which is create a campaign without a goals guidance. The reason I like to do that is because it will open up all the eligible campaign types for you to choose from. Um, if you were to select sales or leads or website traffic, some of these would not be an option. So I like to select without a goals guidance so that I can see everything that I've got access to. Okay, so next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select video as the campaign type. So again, we want our ad to show in the search results on YouTube, so we select video. Next up, it's asking for a campaign subtype. You've got video views, reach, frequency, etc. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna select video views, and that will narrow the type of bidding that we have the ability to do, but that's fine for the purpose of this campaign. So I'm gonna select video views, and we're gonna select continue. And this is where you name the campaign. So I can say something like YouTube search results, or you can name it whatever you would like. Um, recommendation is to keep it consistent with your other naming conventions of your other campaigns. Bid strategy, our only option right here is target CPV, cost per view. And this is where you select your budget. So let's say, for example, let's do 25 bucks a day. Start date, end date, I'm gonna leave that blank for now. And then here's the network tab. Um, YouTube obviously has a check mark next to it. I'm gonna go ahead and unselect video partners just so we can keep it inside the YouTube ecosystem here. You select your locations, I'm based in the United States, so I'll keep with that, select United States. Languages, go ahead and select what applies for you. All right. Now you have the ability to link your um, product feed and even related videos for this campaign. I'm actually gonna skip that. Um, we're just gonna have a simple ad that appears in the Google or in the YouTube search results with the video of our choice. And then multi-format ads, this is new, get more views with multi-format ads. Again, I'm keeping this super simple. Um, and so even though I haven't tested this exclusively, but I'm gonna unselect it and we're gonna keep it simple. All right, now we're at the ad group name. Again, name this whatever you would like. YouTube search results ad group. Okay, people you would like to reach and content. All right, so now this is going to narrow it for how uh, we want our video to appear, the targeting methods. All right, so I'm actually gonna skip this people you, who you want to reach and I'm gonna select keywords, okay? So the question is, what keywords do you want to appear for in the YouTube search results if someone is, is searching for related topics? So for me, with my online coaching business, I might want to appear for things like search engine optimization tips or SEO best practices or whatever you would like. And no, this is not exact match like with standard search campaigns. So this is going to take that keyword and then find terms that are related to it. And so you can go down the line for your business and input the keywords that make sense for you. And now once you have that, you have an option here to either narrow that reach even further, and you can do that by telling YouTube, telling Google who you want to reach. So you could say, I want to target people who are searching for keywords like search engine optimization tips or SEO best practices. And then you can go in and select different demographics or audience segments and it acts as an and statement. So it would be, I want to target people that are interested, interested in blank 
and they're searching for keywords related to this, or I want to reach females, or I want to reach males, and then the ages, or whatever you would like, and target people, target those people who are searching for these keywords, okay? And so you do that, and then this is where you go in and input the video that you wanna target. And now if you want to appear in the search results on YouTube, this is the big thing that you need to select, in-feed video ad. So you'll select that, and as, as Google Ads says here, video discovery ads are now called in-feed video ads. In-feed video ads can appear on the YouTube search results next to related videos or on the YouTube homepage. They invite users to click on a thumbnail consisting of an image, some text, to watch the ad. And so by selecting in-feed video ad, a good percentage of your impressions inside this campaign are going to be from the YouTube search results, but you will get some impressions from the other placements like Google Ads mentioned in that uh, brief overview there. But this is the best way for you if you want to have your ad appear in the YouTube search results. My recommendation is to set up a video campaign, you select in-feed video ad, and then go ahead and input the terms or keywords that you want your ad to appear for. And so after you've done that, you can go in and select custom thumbnail, input your heading, description, you can even go in and create other ads if you would like. And so that's gonna give you the ability to show in the YouTube search results for the keywords and related terms to what you typed in above. And so the final step is to input your maximum CPV bid. And now if you have an account that has had some history of advertising on YouTube, you're actually gonna get estimates in this section for what a good CPV bid would be. And my recommendation is take that recommendation that Google gives you and then probably do a little bit less than that. And so I'm gonna go in and input 10 cents as my maximum CPV. And so this could be way too low for the keywords that I input. So after I create the campaign and everything gets approved, if I'm not getting any impressions from this video, I'll know to go in there and raise my maximum CPV to something that's a bit more competitive so I can start to get more ad impressions to show inside the YouTube search results page.